the flaring of natural gas produce in association with crude oil is one of the most dangerous environmental and energy waste practices in the Nigerian petroleum industry. Gas flaring affects the environment and human health, results in economic loss, deprives the government of associated tax revenue and trade opportunities, and deprives consumers of a clean and cheaper energy source and environment. Available data from the NMPC has shown that Nigerian lost over 217 billion in revenue last year as oil and gas companies flared a total of 244.84 billion standard cubic feet of natural gas within the same period. With the average price of natural gas put at $2.90 per 1,000 standard cubic feet as of February 6, 2017, the 244.84 billion standard cost fled translate to a loss of $710 million, or 217 billion, using the exchange rate of 305 currently. Mr. President, my distinguished colleagues, this volume of gas fled, according to analysis, is sufficient to feed three LNG trains, or generate 3.5 megawatts of electricity. Nigerian average power generation. This apart from the unquantifiable social health and environmental impacts. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, the latest report also from NMPC shows that in 2016, 22.34 billion standard scope of gas was fled in January, 20.38 billion in February, 20.11 billion in March. 18.7 billion in April, 15.8 billion in May, and 14.8 billion in June. Similarly, in the second half of the year 2016, Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, the country recorded the highest volume of gas flight in November at 24.54 billion standard score, up from 22.6 billion in October, 21.5 billion in September. 21.14 billion in August, 21.79 billion in July, and a total of 21.15 billion in December. Mr. President, my distinguished and respected colleagues, it appears that the euphoria of oil discovery and the commencement of production in 1958 blinded the eyes of Nigerians, as there was no provision to handle produce gas in association with crude oil. Government neither stipulated any laws nor guidance during the nascent period of our oil production history. It was not only until 1969, Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, that the first attempt to address gas flaring was made via the Petroleum Drilling and Production Regulations, which merely required that all producing companies submit a gas utilization plan five years into the commencement of production. After this, the Associated Gas Reinjection Act of 1979 came into force. The 1979 Act provides for the implementation program of gas reinjection by all producing companies. A flay out date of 1st of January 1984 and 1985, with the conditions for flaring thereafter, as well as the related penalty of forfeiture of concessions. The Act also empowered the Minister of Petroleum Resources to make regulations for the governance of the oil and gas industry. Consequently, Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, the Associated Gas Reinjection Continued Flaring of Gas Regulation 1985 was made to specify conditions for issuance of certificates for continued gas flaring and matters connected therewith. Yet, all this till date has not stopped the flaring of natural gas, and Nigerians have remained the victims of lack of gas flaring prohibition act. Mr. President, my distinguished and respected colleagues, it is pertinent to note that gas reinjection is not applicable in every scenario as, as the decisions to reinject or store gas follows extensive studies of the, of the field or reservoir systems to determine the most appropriate development mechanism for optimum recovery of hydrocarbon. The law did not take this constraint into consideration. Hence, the need to provide a solid legal framework 
for the effective regulation and monitoring of gas flowing activities in line with current realities, which this bill is basically set to achieve. Mr. President, my distinguished and respected colleagues, in 2008, as part of the Nigerian Gas Master Plan, government regulation through the National Domestic Gas Supply and Pricing Policy 20, 2008, was primarily focused on domestic obligations of our gas produce in the development of domestic market in the area of industrialization, commercialization, and domestic utilization. The regulation is specifically introduced domestic gas supply obligations to all operators in the industry with a penalty charge of $3.50 per standard cubic cost of gas for operators' inability to meet its domestic supply obligation to domestic market.